So one thing led to another, and I was able to, to get jobs teaching uh, general history. And uh, I guess the thing that really uh, kept me plugged in was my, my wife, who was born in East LA, and uh, you know encouraged me in keeping on with the, with the teaching of Chicano history, because that was also part of her heritage. So um, I guess it's meant a lot of things to me over the years. It's changed the teaching of Chicano history. Um, it's hard to tell you know, what the influence has been. Uh, I had one, one occasion I was at a, at a uh, gathering in a, in a public place, and this guy came over to me and he was pretty wasted. <laughs> and he said, you're the best teacher I've ever had. <laughs> you were influenced by my life a lot, right? So I don't know what the influence was. <laughs> it's hard to tell. But I know it's only one class out of a lot of classes that students take. Um, for the Chicano students um, it's, and, and others, um, it's, you can look on it as kind of a, I look on it occasionally as decolonization. Decolonization project, I guess it would be. This idea of kind of kind of trying to undo the damage that's been done uh, for the last 50 or 60 years in our educational system. Just a little bit to try to do, undo some of the damage and help people heal from all the wounds that have been inflicted, not just on them, but on their parents and grandparents and others. In my own case, um, you know, I was searching, I've been searching for, you might say, some truth in my life, okay? Each of us has our own truths that we're looking for. And uh, I found, every now and then I found, you know, kernels of truth that spoke to me in my research and in my teaching and uh, mostly in relating, relating to friends, people like me and others that I've been around for a long time. Most of them are gone now, but um, it's really, that's been an important part of Chicano history and Chicano studies for me, our uh, colleagues and friends, and the students that I've met along the way. You guys, you know, your, uh, your influence on me has been very, very important. And um, I've had students that uh, have gone on into uh, teachers and to be social work. I met one just one yet, just yesterday who's a counselor over at uh, Sarah High School. And uh, she remembered me. I mean, she, she graduated 20 years ago. And I was very flattered. But I'm sure she had a lot of other influences in her life. But it's, it's, it's a, really a bit of an honor for me to be associated with young people who are going through the process, the journey of life. So, for all my friends and uh, my wife and uh, my kids too, who none of them went into Chicano studies. Uh, they're all doing engineering and all kinds of other raising kids and things like that. And the community especially, uh, that's been a really important part of Chicano history and Chicano studies for me. Um, one of the unspoken requirements of teaching in Chicano studies is you have to be involved with larger community out there, not just the academic world, but you have to be involved out there, whether it's telling students to go to NASCO at 7 in the morning when that's a long time, you know, to, to, to Chicano Park on Chicano Park Day, or being going there myself and being involved with that. That's been, or bringing the community here, that's been an important part of being involved with Chicano Studies. And it's been my pleasure to be associated with a lot of people given a lot to this place and as well as to the community out there, Chunky and uh, people like that, who uh, have, have wonderful spirits and have wonderful souls. And that's really what's it, what, it, what it's about, I found out, is a little later in life perhaps. Cultivating your soul, cultivating your spirit over the time.
time, that's really what education is about. And that's why I think uh, even writing papers about values, mm -hmm. what are the values that people have as they live their lives, their dreams, and what are those values you need to do? And to the larger world. So that's where it's at. Okay, well, I think uh, I'm, I'm going to call, call it a wrap. And for the Diapoli School, Quickly, I want to thank you very much. That was a great performance. So thank you all of you. And, uh, I have your papers. I'll pass out. Sort of anti-climax. <laughs>